John Yeager here again uh, with Pork Taste at Gray's on Main in downtown Franklin, Tennessee. Today we're going to go over one of our top sellers here called the Anthem Spirit. Um, I love this cocktail. It's very robust. It's very spirit forward. The one thing that really makes this cocktail stand out is our house-made Magnolia Bitters. Um, I have written on uh, the flavor profile of Magnolia and some bitters lessons on our website with my wife and I, Pork Taste at PortTaste.com. Um, but we wanted to give Grays as a bar concept something very individual for them. Um, magnolia, as a leaf, has a very floral and almost lemony, citrusy smell and aromatic and taste to it, and we wanted to condense that into the form of a bitters and put that into a drink. So today we're going to go over the Anthem Spirit. The base is rye whiskey, so we're going to do two ounces of rye whiskey. Here we use James E. Pepper rye. I'm going to do an ounce of Rothman and Winter apricot brandy. Again, this is a true eau de vie. This has been distilled 100% from apricots. This is not an apricot flavored liqueur. We're going to do a half ounce of Chinar. Chinar is an Amaro. It uh, comes from Italy. It has been distilled from artichokes. You would never know that if I did not tell you, but because it is an Amaro, uh, the reigning quality of Chinar is the fact that it's intentionally bitter. So this actually helps balance out the sweetness of the apricot liqueur. We're also going to do a half ounce of Benedictine, one of my favorite ingredients ever. We're going to go ahead and stir this right in here. The stir it well. Now here at Gray's, we recognize that this is all booze. So if you guys are making this at home, you really want to pay attention to how long you're stirring this. You want proper dilution. This is a real kick in the pants if you don't stir it long enough, is basically what I'm saying. So I'm going to let that sit al dente for just a second while I prepare the glass that it's going to be consumed in. Go ahead and cut my lemon zest. Now the final touch, while this has been resting on ice, again, I said this is all alcohol, so we really need to let that kind of uh, bake, or kind of cook for a minute, let it dilute. Uh, we're going to put five drops of house-made magnolia bitters right into the cocktail. One, two, three, four, five. Again, this is just going to offer a really unique floral quality to the cocktail. We're going to continue to stir that. And as you guys are making cocktails at home, do not be afraid to taste as you're mixing. This is very appropriate for the craft bartender, especially here at Gray's. We want to make sure before we serve it that it's perfect. And if it's not, which that's not, we got to keep going. All right, we're going to dump this right over fresh ice into a double old-fashioned glass. Again, we have James E. Pepper rye. Rothman and Winter Apricot Brandy, Chinar, Benedictine, House Magnolia Bitters, and to finish off the cocktail, we're going to garnish Expressed Lemon Zest. For those of you who intend on visiting Gray's anytime soon, the best way to think about this cocktail is even though it is all spirit, this is uh, a wonderful drink that would be equivalent to a sipping tea if you can imagine that. So again, we thank you guys for visiting us here online. For more cocktail lessons, uh, instructions on bitters and cocktail history, you can visit my wife and I at PortTaste.com. But we really encourage you to be here at Gray's on Main to enjoy what we consider our crown jewel. Thank you.